you know, what's the happiest day of my life? When I go to Europe, I, I, I met with these guys. I wouldn't say anything good about them, really, because they really don't deserve it. Okay. They, You're trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice, but they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. And not just because I'm talking to you. Yeah. I've talked to this guy. I've called, we've talked on phone. You know, he, he knows me right from when I traveled. He knows that I was really intelligent, more than the others. Yeah. I was curious and I was direct. You were asking questions. I was asking questions. I was like, the things that are not supposed to be so. Okay, so I think it's similar. They didn't just buy a play, they, they, they paid. Mm -hmm. They paid, and the, the fee they paid was 150,000 wow. euros. So, and now I'm asking, so you bring a player from Africa, I mean, I'm human. And my family is there, mm -hmm. you know, in a, in a really bad situation. I mean, if they could pay all this money, I mean, it's only normal for you to take like a little. And give to the family. Give to my family. I'm not asking it myself. Because the but family, family brought you up. You understand? My family invested in me. And now, this is not like you helping, like them helping me. It's a business. So of if, course. If I wasn't good, you, you weren't going to take me. Exactly. So now you made money. I'm happy for you that you made money. I'm not asking you to give me any of this money even because I believe in dignity and labor. I would work and I would make my own money. But. In this case, you show that you're human. So now look the person in front of you and say, this guy has worked. He's hand me this amount of money. I need to appreciate him by giving this to his family. Who invested in him? I need to appreciate him. But they just took us there. They left me, I swear, they left me in Milan without even one cent. Wow. So I just wow. went to training. I just went to training, go back at, went to training, go back. I didn't have like nothing. And I'm sure the club wasn't aware of that. Of course, the, the club, club was not aware of this. Oh you know, God. you have like younger boys, because you know you have all the the, the, the categories there in the in the clubhouse, on the 19 to like on the 12, 13, something like that. But you have younger boys who could at least afford a coffee or Coca Cola if they wanted, or water at least. But I could, we couldn't like me and my my friend. We couldn't, we was just there without, you know, nothing. Wow. And I tell you, in the summer, my clothes I brought from Nigeria, I had to cut the jeans with scissors because it was too hot and I wouldn't <laughs> have shorts. <too. laughs> if I remember that, it's funny, I swear, I had to cut them with scissors just so I could, you know, <laughs> because Milan was so hot that they didn't, they, they didn't allow us to go home. So I had to improvise. Oh, this story. Yeah, I had to improvise because I didn't have shirt. I came with jeans all the way from Nigeria and nobody bought new clothes for me. Wow. So I had to improvise. I mean, I had to cut them and if not, the feet was too hot. And you know how Nigerian jeans are? It's like really strong, strong jeans. And you can't wear that in the summer. So all these experiences, I mean, I never complained wow. about any of this. I wow. never, never, wow. never complained. I just kept on walking, and uh, it brought me to the to the place where I am today. Wow. It's made me a better person, and that's why I I, I think I'm a motivation to a lot of people, and I can give also some advice to a lot of people because there's a lot of young guys out there. Because now I could decide to complain like all this has been and yeah. forget to do my work yeah, exactly but you, when you're complaining you're not working and now that's bad for you because your work brings you out exactly your work gives you money so you always need to to work even if you want to complain but don't forget your work that's it so you focused on work, on your work rather just, than complaining yeah, rather than complaining because Complaining is not going to change the situation. Yeah, exactly. So, just work. But one day you can you can you can say, you can talk about it. Just like me again. The last few years, I talked to this guy, wow. and he he was trying to like really tell me no, it wasn't like that. I said, listen, I'm not stupid. Italian guy. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Okay. So now, if you're trying to tell me that you were human, yeah, you were human. I think like myself when I see the young players who come in Europe, and we meet. I'm taking them out to shop. Wow. I buy new clothes for them, wow. shoes. I can I make them comfortable, happy because they're human beings, huh? Wow. 
they need this motivation. Mm. You don't just think that, like, okay, they come from Nigeria, so like they're nothing. Exactly. No, they're not nothing. They're human. Wow. So you treat them like that. Don't treat them like Slave. slaves. You wow. understand? Okay, hey, you sit there and shut him up. <laughs> hey, you work and shut him up. And that is exactly how some of these yes. guys treat players. Unfortunately, that's how we were treated. We couldn't say anything. They're gonna threaten you. You wanna talk? You're gonna back you're going back to Nigeria. Wow. Because they know the situation they know the back situation in Nigeria. Back they know you don't want to go back there. Yeah. And but why? It's not the white people. It's the guys. It's the guys Nigeria. in Nigeria yeah, who yeah. make yeah. them who tells them that of course. Hey, listen, these guys, the situation is hard. So it's the Nigerians who fuck They're desperate. All the Nigerians. So it's not what but yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, 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 yeah. because it, it, they say, hey, this place, you need to treat them with respect. The white man's gonna treat you with respect. There's no way. But when they tell them that, oh, this place, they have nothing done, of course they get, they, they know how it functions and they start. But you know why they're doing that? Because they are making more, you know, the Nigerian guys, so any money that was supposed to go to the black, the, to the player, they are taking it. Wow. And they keep it in their pocket. Of course they keep it. But until you get your contract, then when you yeah. get your contract, no one can Nobody. do nothing about you have it. A contract with the club. That's why I say work and not complain. That's true. Because these things, when you complain and you don't work, you lose totally everything. So now if I'm telling you, if I'm poor and I'm telling you, hey, look at my experience, these people did this, these people did that, and I'm without the club now. It won't be valid. It won't be valid. It's now, stupid. your story yes. makes more sense because exactly. you're talking to a superstar who has gone past that level. Exactly. And it keeps growing. So that's why, don't complain, just know that, okay, this is the situation, keep it in mind. Just work and try to be a motivation to people. So today, I can tell another black girl can, who comes in Europe, who comes across me, I can say, hey, it's going to be hard, but don't complain, just work. That's true. Because that's what you owe, that's what you owe yourself, your family. Absolutely. So think of your family, think of where you come from. Don't complain, work. And after, everything's going to be fine. You can remember, now I'm remembering those times, I'm laughing. Because exactly. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm Who is just, better now? Who is better, exactly. <laughs> so, that, that, no, that's, that's, that, that's all.